That's it. All my model building skillets. <laughs> I got a few things, uh, mail call and this and that. So, I just got this today. Actually, just a little while ago. Too tall. Taylor Brown. Thank you, Taylor. I'll get you some new ones out to you. Since I got them, I've seen you a couple of new ones. I just got my business cards today. That's fast. Jump right on in. Mm. But, yeah, I'll give you the big card and then one of these, too. So. Get them fixed up here in a little while. <clears throat> And let's see what else we got. Thank you, Taylor. And uh, same to you here. That's absolutely. And y'all too. Uh, and you had this. Yesterday, yeah, yesterday I think it was. <laughs> from from J Man. <laughs> This one he built for me, uh, appreciation bill. <laughs> Old Gremlin, get big block Chevrolet in. <laughs> That's cool. And uh, the homemade headers too, uh, solder, oh yeah. I ain't been able to find no solder that size. And all, I, all I can find is the big stuff. And uh, they got some in Micro Mark, but I don't know it. I don't know what the hell millimeter is. I, I don't know what size that is. They go by everything millimeter and this and that. I don't know nothing about all that shit. Uh, oh. Oh, that ain't it. I started to say that was it, but that ain't. They went to the grocery yesterday. I was gonna go, but I was on the way out the door. I was gonna get my keys and lock the front door. My keys weren't there. Oh, what the heck, man? I tore. I was all over outside, all inside. I went around here. I don't know, probably four or five times I could not find them and I couldn't go I thought go on go on with that me I couldn't go with her I'd be I'd be tore all up worrying about them keys I went all around I, I went all over I don't know how many damn times and uh finally just about an hour before they got home last night which they got home just before dark. <laughs> they went to Kroger this time. And didn't get near as much stuff as what she gets at Walmart. I used to do pretty good at Kroger. But I mean, they even had a Kroger car. I used to do better at Kroger than I did at Walmart up in Ohio. Spent about the same money and didn't get half as much. Kroger. Anyway, they mall got me a couple of these. She said, You sure we had two big bins of Hot Wheels? Let's, let's, uh, well, it ain't a new one. It's a new livery for me. Try Five Terror. Yeah, that's cool. I got several of them 55 gassers with different things on them. This is a Alpha Romeo, Alpha Alpha Romeo. I got one of them too, not long ago. I think it may be a different color. Alpha Alpha and Romeo GTV6. 
three liter V6, I suppose. Momo. <laughs> Got Momo on here. You know what Momo is? That in Missouri. Misery. Missouri. Missouri Monster. Momo. That's the Missouri Booger. Up in the up in the Ozark parts of Missouri. Uh, I anyway, yep, I guess that's it. I mean, I'm getting this '64 uh, Belvedere together. So, uh, now I got the big leaning tire power fixed up while well, wanted. Made full barrel intake. For that and I made the uh, split uh, shit, split header I don't know if you can tell or not it's it's three cylinders off each each header pipe but yeah it's got dual Don't look too bad. I mean, got that big, big four barrel on it. I've seen some slant sixes that's all seeped up, big old four barrel on. Them. I think them guys from Power Nation on. TV, that Motor Trend, it used to be some other channel, uh, it's called two, them, two, three different things before, but it's Power Nation now, I think, but them guys that, uh, that work on the uh, engines and build engines and all that, they had one big old slant six, big four barrel on it, I think that, Actually, I think it's a big one of them Holly Sniper fuel injection throttle body, I guess. And I don't know what all they did to it. Put a big cam in and a header. And, and they had it on a dyno like that, and it was, I think it did like a little under 400 horsepower, three. 89 or some shit and then they they put a turbo on it <laughs> and then way over way over 400 four and a quarter or something <laughs> damn yeah. so way back when I see the guy I seen run on the strip I don't remember what his name was it was up there in Edgewater in Cincinnati just outside Cincinnati. Um, had one of them with a little rail. Had a slant six on it. And it's, I don't know what all he had done to it. But, uh, quarter mile, he was running. It's nines, nine, eight, some shit. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, that's. I still got a paint body and stuff, interior, I ain't started on none of that yet, so. Same way with Sherry, I washed all the parts for these today, so. Uh, I'll put some kind of big V8 in this, I can't decide on hammy, or I like to deal with it. 426 uh, the wedge, the street wedge, or whatever the hell they call that. I think I got the parts I could do that. I mean, <clears throat> it don't matter, 440, whatever, 61 half dozen, another. There's the engine for that Joe hand. I sealed it. <laughs> sealed that up where the axle goes to it. 
Yeah, I guess the uh, one Lindbergh block. You can make a hammy with it or that 426 street wedge or whatever. That's what I like to do. Some kind of, well, just a big block Mopar. That's all you're going to know what he is. I mean, ain't got to be nothing specific. <laughs> um, but this slant six. I think I'm gonna put steelies on it. Oh, I'm gonna paint. I'm gonna use this as Douglas sent me. Pearl blue. Anita's. That'd be a pretty color. Um, it's, kind of, it's not gonna be a big, shiny, pretty kind of faded paint or something some kind of some kind of deal like it and baiting on the interior there's bluegrass green any of these match it pearl blue yeah pearl blue metallic uh, laguna that's a good one or Desert turquoise. Well, any them make maybe that desert turquoise. I like to have something a little bit darker for the interior or this bluegrass green. It might work too. I don't know. Maybe that. Maybe that desert turquoise. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. That's the thing I like about these Lindbergh kits too. You can get the, the, the side panel. Most of them become easy. One side's plain Jane. And the other one's, you know, it's got the... I, I think I'll probably use that side. It ain't, it ain't gonna be no drag car, just a street thing. It's harder than, harder than hell in here. Yeah. I got to find me in a little window you see before summer hits. This thing here just, it quit. It started smoking. I, I unplugged it. I ain't, I ain't tried to run it since. Waiting to see if I can get another one first before I pull out that window. I don't want to have to untape all that shit. Uh, yeah, that's it, I guess. That's all I got. Taylor, appreciate you again, boy. We'll get you some of them new ones back out. Probably stick them in the mail tomorrow. Thanks again. These are double sided. Two tall and Wilson family raising. It's pretty cool. 82 GNC collateral. Oh, oh. Well, that's like kind of like the El Camino thing, ain't it? I know back in 70. That's been about 77. I was going, I was working for this uh, lot that they sold campers. And they had a few cars too. And they had one of the GMC Sprint. It's like the El Camino. It was, uh, that may have been about. I just want to say it's a 77, but it may have been about a 75. It had to been about 77 when I worked there. Yeah, it's, it's like the El Camino. 
give her name. I think it had a 350 in it. Uh, anyway, all right. See y'all. Bye. My another cuz just come here from Dayton. Her and her old man, they got a motel room over here by the highway. I, she dropped him off over there so he can stretch out. I know I had a trip. I ain't made one in a while, but the last few times I did make a trip to a while, it wore my ass out. I can't, I can't handle them road trips no more. Alright. I'll get